Without a doubt, the most common questions I receive on my build videos are where is the best place to find gear, best method to get Phoenix credits, fastest way to build up credits, and where can I find exotic weapons and gear. And today, I am going to show you a build that can really speed up farming for all of these items. What's going on agents? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and I'm back with another division build guide video and today I'm going to show you my ultra farmer build and this is my go-to kit when I need to farm for gear, exotics, credits, and phoenix credits as quickly and efficiently as possible. If you have limited amounts of game time per day and like to roam solo in either the open world, dark zone, or like to attempt challenge difficulty daily missions solo, then you will especially like this build as it can net you huge amounts of gear, credits, caches, and phoenix credits in a short amount of time. Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into this build, which is built around the defense gear set, and I chose to equip a reckless chess piece. Reckless increases my damage by 8% and my gunslinger vest comes with a firearms main stat roll. Major attributes include 9% skill haste to speed up skill cooldown timers and a mid 15,000 point health roll. The main attribute to concentrate on for this ultra farmer build is the minor attribute which is increased kill XP. I've also chosen to equip two superior electronics gear mods with 6% increased kill XP. My first piece of defense gear is the mask with a firearms main stat roll along with enemy armor damage and 12% damage to elites. Since we will be using this build to farm elites and name bosses, damage to elites is a strong selection for the minor attribute. I have finished off the mask with an electronics gear mod with 6% increased kill XP. In the past, agents have always broken down accomplished knee pads for either materials or credits, but for this ultra farmer build, they are an absolute necessity. Accomplished triples rewards from accolades and my knee pads came with a firearms main stat roll. My major attribute is a nice skill power roll along with the most important item, which is the 55% increased kill XP minor attribute roll. Now, ideally, I would have also liked to have had damage versus elites, but I will keep looking for a suitable substitute for these knee pads in the future. I have once again equipped an electronics gear mod with 6% increased kill XP along with a 3.5% ballistic shield damage mod. My backpack is the second piece of defense gear and it came with a firearms main stat roll. I chose to leave the critical hit damage major attribute as it does pair well with this shield SMG combo. Now since you will be burning through tons of ammo, ammo capacity in the minor attribute slot is a good idea. An electronics gear mod with increased kill XP and two ballistic shield damage mods finish off the backpack for this build. My gloves are the third piece of defense gear and have a stamina main stat roll. The classic triad of crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and SMG damage are ideal for an SMG centered build and pair nicely with this kit. My holster is the fourth and final piece of defense gear and it is quite strong with all three main stats over 1265. Skill haste is a solid selection as the major attribute and I have finished off the holster with a ballistic shield damage mod. Having a strong SMG with the right mix of weapon talents is extremely important for this build and I have crafted this Navy MP5N to work specifically with this gear set. This MP5 has a strong base damage roll, 22% critical hit chance, and destructive, responsive, and deadly weapon talents. Now you could substitute Ferocious in for either Destructive or Deadly, but since I am not always tackling elite NPCs, Ferocious is a hit or miss talent for this build. For my weapon talents, I have chosen to equip an extended magazine with critical hit chance and rate of fire, crit hit damage C79 scope with headshot damage and range, loud vent break with critical hit damage and headshot damage, and a small grip with critical hit damage and reload speed. If you are attempting to take on waves of elite NPCs with this build, they will eventually deliver enough damage to your shield that it will break and need time to recharge. 
Therefore, it is important to have a weapon that has good mid to long range to keep the NPCs pinned down and I have chosen to equip my trusty Pecan LMG. I can take cover and deliver nearly 100 rounds at my targets, which will not only damage them, but give my shield enough time to replenish and be ready for another bout of combat. Only the Master Ballistic Shield mod is activated with the defense gear set, and with this setup, my shield has just over 704,000 health points, along with a 22% damage increase, and can cool down in roughly 26 seconds. In addition, I use the Overdose first aid skill that can heal me for just over 102,000 health points. For my talents, I use Adrenaline, Strike Back, on the move, and one is none. It is important to note that this build is meant to be used in solo settings in order to maximize the accomplished knee pads effect and to gain as much XP as possible. It will work in group settings, but it is not correctly optimized to handle hardened NPCs on challenge or legendary missions. Now, to show you just how strong this build is for farming and how efficiently it can rack up gear and credits, let's take a look at some of these before and after shots of this gear set in action. One of the fastest ways to rack up gear and credits along with a shot of looting exotics is to farm the open world bosses, and this ultra farmer build excels at this. Now I started my boss farming run with 60 items in my backpack just over 136 million credits and 269 phoenix credits. Since I have a proven path and order of farming these open world bosses, my farming run lasted just over 30 minutes and after returning to the base of operations, my backpack was now at 107 gear pieces, the same amount of credits and 361 phoenix credits. In addition, I had racked up two caches which netted four more additional gear pieces and after selling all the items that I did not want to keep, my credit total is now over 140 million and the caches also netted me an additional 40 phoenix credits. In addition, I did loot a set of Skull MC gloves. Another place to quickly rack up gear and XP is in the tunnel section of the daily mission for Lincoln Tunnel Checkpoint on Challenge Difficulty. After fighting your way through the first two sections, you will be tasked with defending the tunnel while the JTF agent disarms the bomb and this is where you can farm elite NPCs over and over again. This ultra farmer can really excel in these tight quarters, especially when being rushed by the golf club wielding NPCs. The key is to fight through the consecutive waves of NPCs until the final wave and kill all the enemies save one. Allow this NPC to kill you or just throw a grenade at your own feet to reset this section of the mission and rinse and repeat. After just 23 minutes of this section of the mission, take a look at all the loot drops littering the battlefield along with more in the tunnel behind me. After returning to the base of operations, I had collected 19 gear items and 4 caches. All in all, this short farming run netted me roughly 2 million credits and 60 phoenix credits. Now, I know what you were saying, yeah this is all great buzz, but this will never work in the DZ. Uh-uh, just to show you how effective it is in the DZ, here is some footage. I limited myself to a 30 minute run into the DZ starting off on the west side of DZ6 and included clearing an underground area, cleaner's corner, DZ supply drop, multiple extractions, and even soloing the opera house in DZ7. My DZ run netted me a level up from 69 to 70, 19 extracted items, 81 phoenix credits and after selling the extracted gear I did not want, netted me roughly 3 million more credits. Yes, this gear set will have its limitations when encountering rogue agents and it is not ideal for PvP, but when I do roam the DZ I replace the pecan with an additional MP5 with responsive, confident and unforgiving. Now for a quick recap, in just roughly one and a half hours of farming, I netted over 110 pieces of gear, 284 phoenix credits and over 8.2 million credits once I sold the unwanted gear. So why is this build important to both the rookie and experienced division player alike? Well, efficiently farming for gear is at the heart of our game. 
and gaining gear and weapons that are incrementally better than what we currently have are what drive us to endlessly roam for NPCs and tackle max difficulty in-game missions in search of those perfect gloves or that perfect exotic weapon or gear. I'm going to go ahead and sign off from here, but make sure to stay tuned for my Ultra Farmer build taking on the Opera House in DZ7 solo. As always, I would love to hear what you think of my latest Division Build Guide video. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a huge thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my Division content in your lives, make sure to pound that sub button and follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. And remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Make sure to click on the bell symbol right next to the subscribe icon to activate the send me all notifications for this channel box and hit save. Until my next division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.